Brazilian pastor prays for second Holocaust in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. A Brazilian pastor prayed to God to, quote, oh God, destroy the Jews like vermin and bring about a second Holocaust during a sermon in Rio de Janeiro. Quote, God, what you have done in World War II, you must do again. This is what we ask uh, for in our prayers to you. Justice, 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 end quote. Pastor uh, Tupirani, uh, Lahora, no, Dahora Loris, um, shouted at his church, a small and radical evangelical congregation, um, uh, which is called Synagoga Sem Fronteras, a network of, uh, oh, sorry, uh, that a network of synagogues in the Jewish community of Brazil filed the complaint for incitement against the pastor with the federal police. Um, and the federal police have said that they're looking into this case. So yeah, that made me very uncomfortable just to say. Um, but it's important that, you know, opinions like this are terrible, but we need to hear them. Um, because we need to know that people out like this exist and um, pushing them into the shadows, I think, makes it more dangerous. Um, you know, we need to hear loud and clear that this is a real opinion and attitude out there. He also brings up, you know, all these things about um, Jews um, <clears throat> leaving God, repenting. Um, you know, killing God. So, cause he also said, massacre the Jews, hit them with your swords. They have left God. They have left the nations. Um, and then he also said they contrived, they went with prostitutes. And when they were told to repent, they said they would do it, but they lied. So is he talking about conversions, forced conversions? What, you know, and how that, um, they've left God and then so um, the thing about it you were saying it makes you uncomfortable to say it is like I mean yeah it makes me uncomfortable to hear it but it also makes me uncomfortable because I actually have gotten you know not necessarily religious messages but I have gotten messages like this as I'm sure other people have gotten and it makes you uncomfortable and there's people out there that are you know preaching this so it's Makes me uncomfortable. And I think anti-Semitism, I mean, for me, it's weird. It, may, it touches a weird place in me because of just being raised by people who are always worried about it, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, for good reason. And very much so. Apologies to our Brazilian audience for absolutely butchering that Portuguese. <laughs> yeah. Um Smithy in the uh, live chat was saying, at least he doesn't deny the Holocaust. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, he just, the, the problem is that he thought it was a great thing. Um, we got a super chat, 10 Canadian dollars from Ben. Aw, thank you. Oh, wow, nice. I don't know how to say it. C. Vendaval Lozana. And he or she is saying, Hey, heathens, these guys are doing a great job. Put out your credit cards and chip <laughs> in a couple of bucks. Oh, wow. Thank you. That's, That's nice. Dang, thank you. Yeah, bring out the collection plate. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, that this is um, sort of personal, but the anti-Semitism is part of the reason why I just I got another dog after my dog died, honestly. Because there what? was a guy. Yeah, yeah. there's a guy for security. I mean, I wanted a companion, but there was a guy who was, and I think we talked about this at the anti-lockdown protests. There was a guy in Ohio who was shown, photographed, taking a, a sign. It had like a, a rat with a big nose and he was wearing a yarmulke and it said, um, the real virus and oh, a star geez. of David. And, uh, so, Oh, sorry. I'm just looking to at the That's right. comment. I'm just going to ignore it. But anyways, this guy came to the town a few miles from me 
and uh. apparently was arrested because he was thankfully turned in, but he was asking around. He was carrying a machete, incendiary devices, and he was open carrying a weapon because I live in an open carry state. Um, that uh, he was looking to find where the Jews were, if anybody knew where the Jews congregated because he wanted to kill Jews. Wait, that was the same Boston? guy. Hmm. So, anyways, that's just hmm. personal thing. But because because we're just talking about atheists under attack, and not I'm an atheist, but there's also people hmm. threatening to hurt people all over the world, and now I feel it like personally a little bit. Yeah. So Rivka is uh, feeling, you know, the atheism and also the being the Jewish eth um, ethnically. Shobham mm -hmm. gets that from being an atheist and also being trans so he experiences a lot from that you know trans stuff uh suzanne i guess that from being an atheist ex-catholic but also from being ex-antifa so there's a this is all interesting generality coming anyways <laughs> but <laughs> and you're just ex-muslim ex ex-muslim ex-iran yeah and from iran well yeah you're yeah, ex-muslim and from iran some people don't like people from it it's so crazy it's ridiculous yeah, um, but I just want to be fair to Catholics because a lot of people on the Facebook post were like, oh, my God, look at what Catholics are saying. To be fair to Catholics, like 99.9% .9 of Catholics, I mean, maybe 0.999% of Catholics would look at this priest and be like, what the fuck? Well, this right? guy was evangelical. Oh, evangelical? What's he... Brazilian the, pastor, that's okay. Vein okay. of Protestantism. Whatever, but, okay, whatever. Christians, Christians in general. Catholics do I have thought, a big history of Jew hating. It's not <laughs> exclusive. Yeah, again, I well, don't want to hold people. Well, they're the ones to... who say they killed, they killed Jesus and stuff. Yeah, but whatever. Okay, okay, but I don't want when we say history, people have a history. I don't want to. I want to make sure that we don't hold people today responsible for what they're a group did like before right people so I, the reason why i saw this pastor this guy is ca uh, catholic is because it's brazil and brazil is very catholic so it's not yeah. catholic but again christians in general would not endorse this you know but um but is it even but is, do you guys think like this is would christianity condemn what he's saying this is why I, what I never understood. People who hate Jews and are Christian are worshiping a Jew. You know, but he's worshiping... the one that changed everything, bro. He's like the that? original hippie, bro. <laughs> he's not a Jew anymore, though, yeah. right? Because he started mm. his new thing and he died on the cross and he came back. And Well, honestly, I think that some people would say no. But yeah, you've all, um, but in honestly, Christianity, I mean, that's the deal, right? Mm. They all want to spread the good news and everybody who doesn't take Jesus as their savior is going to go to hell. You read that in the, and even the ones who love Jews and love Israel, and they, eh, they don't really like us. They just, we're just a conduit to their boy God. Oh, you will, you will, you will is actually saying that in Africa because you will is also uh, ethnically a Jew. He's mm -hmm. saying that in Africa he got you guys killed Jesus all the time. Yes, that's yeah. very common. It's very mm -hmm. common. Mm -hmm. But I will say, like, it's not. Um, you, it's it varies a lot. So I went to Catholic school. The majority of my education, we were we even celebrated Passover at my Catholic school, like which is kind of unusual. But we were taught, you know, like that these are kind of our brothers in faith who started this all, right? Um, and then our prophet obviously came and made it the one that made it the truth. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's not it's it's not um, everyone's belief, but obviously, like there's a very, over two thousand years, at least for the Catholic Church. You know, it, there's a very a very ugly history, and well, that they, a lot of people don't talk about. Like they didn't really talk about it at all in my Catholic school. 
Well, Smitty pointed no. out rightly that they stopped they stopped with the condemning the Jews for deicide like sometime in the late sixties, but people still say that sometimes. So, right. Um, see, well, there was another thing here. Okay, so Michael is saying the bulk of Christian anti-Semitism, anti-Semitism, okay, uh, comes from the Gospel of John, which was this thing, this disgustingly, yeah, disgustingly anti-Semitic, was it? Um, yeah, I mean, it, isn't that where the whole Jew hatred comes from? Which In the Book of Revelations. Because, I mean, I don't know because the. Weren't the Gospels written by originally all of them written by Jews? I don't understand how that works. Um, Allegedly, yeah, but they're not Jews anymore once they start believing in Jesus. Okay, no, so let's make that Jews, distinction. So. No, but they stop being religiously Jews mm. and they start being Christians, which didn't exist before this happened. Whatever that is, right. Uh, just to be clear, though, um, Jew ha hatred um, predates Christianity. I think the m first main people that started it as a trend, like, was beyond just during war, like, were the Romans after the revolt of the Jews against the Romans. I think that's when it like really started uh, mm -hmm. becoming like Romans that love to. Romans love to treat all their enemies as if they're barbarians and start like marketing against them and doing propaganda against how uncivilized and destructive they are. And I think mm -hmm. that, you know, they, you know, after they were, it, it wasn't as bad when they were, when the Jews were being good subjects to the Roman Empire and they, the Jews also had a whole bunch of PR. Uh, they sent people to Rome to talk to the, politicians there on their behalf to show how the Jews are their philosophies and their religion is compatible with Hellenic philosophies and their way of thinking and they even tried to argue to Rome that how Judaism could be uh, seen as individual uh, you know as individual humanist and individualism is promoted in Judaism like they tried to do that and it worked right a lot of the uh, writings of the Jews started changing in style and looking more like Hellenistic uh, philosophy just so that they could appeal not to the Jews but also to a wider audience to show how Jews could live uh, in among non-Jewish societies. And it did work very well for a time until there was a revolt and the Romans went on full on, you know, violence against the Jews. And then the constant attempts to liberate Jerusalem from the Romes made the Roman propaganda against the Jews constantly, um, you know, continue. Um, and that basically got stuck in history. Everybody started copying that ever, ever since. Right. Uh, Yuval is saying the theory is that when the Jews rejected Christianity, the Christians turned to spread it among the general public. So they adjusted the story um, so that the Jews were the main ones to blame and Romans not so much. Okay. Well, and Michael Sherlock is saying the Levant first became influenced by Greek, Greek, uh, Greek culture with Alexander the Great, Hellenistic company. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wait. One thing I forgot to read about Brazil in the Facebook post. Danielle, Danilo is saying Brazil is now infested with by religious bigotry, has no future to Brazil anymore. They are in politics. The president has, himself is one of them. They are in Congress. They are influencing in the schools. Their children, they're growing everywhere in Brazil. Yes, like Brazil is fucked right now with religious, you know, religion is taking over Brazil's politics. So Which really gives sad. us a good plug because we just launched our oh, yes. Brazil uh, Atheist Republic channel. Yes. So yes, if you we're... speak Portuguese, we now have a channel for you. Yes, um, we should. We will soon be linked. Like, if you guys want to find our um, Atheist Republic's other channels, 
if you go to a you, our main YouTube channel, uh, we will link to all of the other languages of Aces Republic on the main on the right side of our main channel. So, and we will. I'm also going to announce it on my personal, uh, not just on Aces Republic, but also on my personal Facebook and Twitter account as well. So, you know, look out for that. And um, yeah, so thank you to Fanny. She's not here today, but she's leading our Portuguese uh, YouTube. We we right now we have Persian. We have Arabic. Um, we will hmm? English. Oh yeah, obviously English. <laughs> we we have we're now studying Portuguese. I really want to also do Spanish or do um, Malay, Indonesian, Bengali, all of these. But we need again. Uh, if you want to support us, link uh, support us financially. Link Patreon link in the description. We need your support to be able to continue doing all of this stuff. News, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 